Hey guys, it's Constance with Charming Custom Crafts, and I promised that I was going to teach the Polymer Red Rose since there was a lot of people that was requesting it compared to all my other ones. I'll also, if I have time, teach you how to do the strawberry. Actually, no, let me teach the strawberry real quick. Strawberry is going to be the easiest one. So you're going to take a bunch of red, and you're going to condition it. And it's actually really easy to do the strawberry. It's one of my favorites. If you can see what I'm doing, I'm kind of forming it. You don't want to totally form it. You're going to want to, first of all, stick it up in a straight pen. And then you're going to want to reform it. Okay, so you're going to make kind of a ball, and you're going to kind of roll it in your hand, as you can see. And you're going to push down on it. And you're going to keep pushing down until you get kind of the strawberry look at the top, we'll get to the bottom, and teach strawberry first, strawberry's fun to make, strawberry's one of my favorites, now I roll it across to roll off some of the um, rough edges, I can also roll the bottom of it a little bit to make it more straight, which is what I did here, do a little bit more. I have actually, strawberries have been my favorite one to do. I don't do roses very often, as much as you would think. Strawberries are more fun because I, I used to make matching um, pen cushions. So, before I get to the leaves on my strawberry, I make sure that it gives, again, gives that strawberry triangular sort of effect. Again, I'm going to roll it a little bit to give more of that triangle a little bit more. Yeah, I like that a lot better. So I got my strawberry a little bit. The shape. Now, I'm going to take my X-Acto knife. And if you want to look, buddy. I go in and I just start poking a lot of little holes that are supposed to be seeds. Because once you get to this point, you can't go back and re-roll it. Because you'll mess up your poked holes that are supposed to be your uh, strawberry seeds. Roxy, my baby puppy, is just wanting attention left and right. Now this might take you a little bit to get used to doing. It depends on how you want your seeds. You can go in and do seeds with yellow if you want. Um, you can do the holes and then go in with some paint, little acrylic paint and fill in the holes a little bit. To me that's easier than doing um, more polymer. It's kind of like antique in a strawberry. And depending on which strawberry, whether it's a big or smaller one, the seeds will be various sizes. So I go in and I do all my little strawberry seeds. And you just keep going all over it. I'm going to get to the rose, I promise. I really wanted to teach the strawberry. Shush, Roxy. No, Roxy. You can't eat my strawberry because it's not even made. No. Make sure your oven is on 275 before you even start a polymer project. Depending on the thickness is what it's, it's going to take. No, Roxy. And you're just going to keep going until you get all the way at the top. And you keep going. You want to get all these in first. And they actually get scarcer as they get closer to the seeds, or the leaves, by the way. If you didn't notice, there's usually always more at the tip. I actually studied a strawberry one day to figure out how to do the direction of all of this. And it's funny because they're not exactly always in the straight direction. Each strawberry has their own fingerprint. It's interesting. It's just like a finger. I sat with a package one day and I was just staring at them. Of course I was eating them too, but... Yeah, strawberries, ladies. Come on. Okay, so now it looks like he's got all these little divot pores. Okay, again, you can't roll it anymore, so if you look, there's there's my strawberry. Now I'm going to stick this over for a second, because then we're going to take a little bit of green. Just, um, this is even way too much. You just need, like, um, a teeny little section. And if you want to make, you know, like, um, little bitty and condition it, roll it in your fingers. If you want to make earrings out of these, are great. Or you want to flatten it and make uh, an embellishment, you can do the same thing. Now you can either use your finger... And flatten it out and I did that and I rolled it over a little bit and then um, 
I just cut these little leaves and I pop them up and they're itty bitty and I stick them, if I can get it to stick to my exacto knife and then I put it on and I stick it on right about here because if you see I think the cat is playing in the box, Bubba you want the straight piece sticking out because the strawberry leaves are pointed. You can make them big, you can make them small. It just, but I would curve them just slightly because strawberry leaves kind of curve. But you'll need four or five little leaves, maybe three at the minimum. Again, you want the tip, the pointy tip, to be on the out edge. I think I got you. What?